The truth of the matter is that the court charges are such a small component of the overall cost of uh, landing a, a container or a shipment to, into Barbados. It's highly unlikely that the average Barbadian will benefit from any reduction in cost because we still are de- dealing with demerge charges on a weekly, monthly basis. And because the port charges, a, a, a $100 or $200 difference in port charges does not really significantly move the needle. And I don't think that Barbados should expect to see any significant anywhere movement in prices as a result of this because the truth is that port costs generally represent less than or around 1% of the overall cost of moving goods into Barbados. Minister Lisa Cummings would have met with some of the importers recently and a proposal was put forward that again we could look at paying duty on the first cost of the goods rather than including inland freight and ocean freight. I think that would be one significant uh, item that would move the cost down. Additionally, we also spoke about the issue with the merge charges. The merge charges are the fees that we pay to the shipping lines for holding the containers beyond a set time. There's a significant cost around the merge charges, and that is something that I think we have to look at, certainly at a regional level with the shipping lines. So those are the two major items that I think would uh, significantly or impact cost in a major way. I'm on record as having said how poor last quarter was in 2023. And we've had as part of our strategy to reduce prices, to drive demand, and hopefully move some of the products that we have in stock. So any price savings, any price savings for us will absolutely percolate back down to the consumer. Um, regrettably, the amount of savings that we're talking about with the port charge reductions is very small. So we don't see that it's going to make a huge impact, but candidly, whatever savings we have, we'll pass on to our consumer um, and, and try to keep prices as low as we can.